Are you confused about what a custom function is and how to even set one up in Zoho? Well, in this tutorial, we're gonna dive into that. Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. I'm gonna dive into what a custom function is and how you can go about creating one, a very simple one in Zoho CRM. Now a custom function is basically that. It is custom code that you have developed using the Deluge programming language. Now Deluge is still relatively new. Zoho developed it on their own for their own Zoho platform. And this is actually the backbone of their entire platform because it allows you to create customization between any of their apps and any app outside because it has access to APIs and allows you to set up integrations between anything, which is really cool. The majority of the time that a custom function is used, it's used in a workflow. So we're just gonna be focusing on that use case right now. And we're gonna be creating a very, very simple one so you can get an idea of how you can go about using it. So generally we wanna just create a workflow and then we'll create a custom function. So let's start there. So let's go up to the top right. We're gonna click the settings tab as usual. We're gonna to go to workflow rules over here and we're going to create a new rule. I'm just going to create a test rule under the leads. I'm just going to say test. And on a record action, we're just going to say on any lead that gets created, and we're going to run on all leads. It's just something very simple. And on an instant action, we're going to select function down here. And when we select that, we see that we have three options. We can choose the gallery, functions, or write your own. Gallery is pre-made by Zoho. I find that this isn't the best, but you can play around with it and see if there's something in there that's useful for you and your business. We also have the ability to look up other functions that have been created within the organization. And this is these are other functions that have been created. So if you have a high development team, then this is a great place to use other functions that are out there. Or you can write your own, which is generally what I do. So if we click write our own, we're going to be taken to a new screen and we're going to have to type in the function name. Now we are going to have to name this without any spaces because if we have any spaces, you'll see shortly, um, it's not gonna let us do that because it's actually the function name. So it's actually code that we're creating now. So we want to just take that out. And now we've created this test function one up here. And we also have the ability to edit these arguments. So arguments are basically variables that are coming into the function that you can then utilize within the function. And in most cases, a lot of the time we're pulling in the ID of whatever module we're using. So in this case, I actually want to pull in the lead ID because I want to show you what that output looks like. So here I need to actually merge the lead ID field into this argument mapping. So I'm going to select the hashtag there. I'm going to select leads. And this allows me to choose any field in the lead module to be able to pull in as an argument. So in this case, I'm just going to select the lead ID. I'm going to click done and I'm going to click save. We now have the ability to access it by putting in the lead ID. We can see that that's a variable. I'm just gonna click enter there. And to show you what that looks like, I'm just gonna use this info, which allows us to write out what that actual argument is. In this case, I'm just gonna type in, uh, it has to be a, a number, so I'm just gonna type in a random set of characters. And now you can see over here on the right-hand side of the console, this is the number I just typed in, so that's pretty cool. So if we were to actually use this, and let's see if we can display a lead ID that's currently in our system. Now I have this lead, it's just a test lead that I've created previously. I'm gonna copy the lead ID, and now I'm going to go, um, I'm gonna create a new variable called test, and I'm going to actually call the Zoho get, um, get record by ID function. So basically this is calling within Zoho CRM, I'm gonna call the get record by ID, and I'm gonna be calling the leads module to search for the lead ID that I put in here. Because I've copied this lead ID, I can just go with it, and I actually want to display the variable test. So if we were to do that, of course, I always forget the semicolons, now we're gonna be able to execute it and save it, and I am basically just going to copy that integer in, and we're going to get a bunch of information here over on the right. So this is the information that's stored in the um, in the record ID itself. Now, this isn't super usable. So what I generally tend to do is I go over here and I'll just copy this in. So this is from a previous one, but I'm just going to clear this. I'm going to paste that information here. This is what it looks like when it's not formatted properly. I'm going to format it. And now I'll just move me over here 
And now you can see this is all the information. It's very nicely laid out where everything is. So if I wanted to look for, you know, let's say the first name or let's go with email or something like that, you can see there's multiples. It's just easy to search on. So that is the gist of a custom function. And in another tutorial, I'm going to dive into a bit more complex nature, but stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to see that. As always, continue to join us in our social channels, anything like that. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now.